What's up gamers and welcome back to my YouTube channel where today we continue our Dark Urge playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we ended the last episode, we were actually headed over to meet Nettie and see if she was able to help us with a cure. I know we don't have a lot of things going on right now, but that is our main goal for today's episode as well as exploring and possibly finding some more companions. So, why don't we go ahead and jump into our next episode of our Dark Urge playthrough with Darcy. Alright, we're back at camp with Darcy in her fancy hat. I don't know about you, chat. I don't know about you. But I am absolutely obsessed with her hat. I think it just brings the whole look together. Alright, so our game plan today is... I gotta hide these quests. I don't like seeing the quests completed because it just... I know it says complete in the side. It just it overwhelms me, so I like to keep it nice and clean. Um... Currently, the only thing we have going on is we gotta get help from healer Nettie so that we can hopefully find a cure. There's a camp nearby where somebody named Nettie can supposedly heal any wound. She might be able to help remove the parasite. So we're off on a mission to find Nettie. Um, we've already done everything that we needed to at camp, but I will say that as of today, which I'm recording this February 16th, um, the patch six has released and there has been a couple things that are new to it. Um, from romance scene kisses being updated to patch, uh, like, just bugs in general being fixed. However, I was told that there are also, or I shouldn't say I was told, I read that there's also, like, camp idol things, depending on which character you have. Um, they do their own thing, where it will be random new idol moments. One of the things that I was told about, though, or, well, I read about, I shouldn't say told, because I did read the patch notes. Um, is if you sit on this stool here There's plenty of space at camp. No need to crowd me <laughs> So when you sit on the stool depending on your relationship with the shadow heart She will give you some sort of that she will give you some sort of dialogue I can't word today um, That fits your relationship. So as you saw we're not in good terms with her right now And she just she doesn't want us here uh, if you look at her ch character sheet, she is currently in neutral feelings. Um, so she's telling us that there's plenty of camp space, and uh, we don't need to sit here, basically. But go to your camp, sit in the stool, see what she says. Something the matter? No, nothing's the matter. I didn't mean to click on you. Actually, yeah, let's actually talk to you before we go talk to Nettie, because I want to get some of this stuff down, get the relationships started with our characters, and ho hopefully maybe ro romance people. What's the story with the with that odd little artifact you have? Um, I'm just gonna go with my memories are all gone. Is your tadpole playing tricks on yours? I understand why you ask, but memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. There may be other causes. Mm, okay. Okay, there might be other causes. Did you drug me? Or you know, I might have hit my head. Um. We should get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? I mean, I like mystery, but I also want to get to know you better. If you are not comfortable, I won't press you. Thank you. She likes that. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? I mean, we've had a lot happen to us so far. We were on a ship, you were trapped in a pod, we had mind flares, um, put parasites in our heads. Um, we crashed the ship. We almost died from falling off the ship. We got into multiple fights. What do you mean? We haven't gone all that far yet. We've gone through, like, a whole day. A whole day. We've gone through so much together. So much. You, have must, th you must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find Cranky. a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. I think they might have also put a parasite up her butt. She's not as cranky as Lizelle, but she has her moments here. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I mean, I guess I that's true. to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. Okay, so somebody's meeting... Possible. Somebody's waiting for Shadowheart at ba Baldur's Gate. Seems personal. I won't pry if it's not something you want to talk about. Thank you. I don't want to piss her off this early and on. you're right. It's 
A delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. We don't want to push too much. How am I holding up in your estimation? I must admit, you've been a surprise. Have I? an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. I did save Besides, you, so there's that. You saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? All right, well, let's turn to other matters then. I feel like the only thing we can really talk about now is what's the story with the odd little artifact you have, because we've already done everything else. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. I mean, I just feel like I'm entitled to a lot. you ever saw it. Okay. Okay. So we'll just leave it at that for right now. We have everything that we need to talk to Shadowheart for currently. We did get an update on her story. Daughter of the Darkness. Um, we learned that Shadowheart needs to reach Baldur's Gate to fulfill a mission for her goddess through the details of that mission. Though the details of that mission are a mystery. It wouldn't be so much of a mystery if I pushed a little bit further, but I don't want to piss her off, like I said, this early on. We're only a day or so into the play, and um, I would like to romance some new people. So far in my playthroughs, I've only been able to romance Lazelle, and I want some new friends, okay? I want some new lovers. You have a manner of irresistible desperation about you. I like it. Okay, well, there's nothing else we can say to Astarian. Thanks for saying that, I guess. Let's go see if Gale has anything. And Lizelle won't be at base because... Or at camp because I killed her. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. She was being mean. What's on your mind? A lot. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a, a cat? good glass of wine. What's his name? And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. Can you Th write me a poem? Can you write me a poem? Don't stop there. You must have many stories to tell me about your adventures as an arc mage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Triperion does mine. If you won't open up, you'll sneak in. We only have a plus one for wisdom. I don't want to again. I don't want to piss any of my companions off this early. My memories before the Naltoid are shrouded by, shrouded in darkness. Memory loss isn't usually a symptom of seromorphosis. If it is, they've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. Okay, then, then where again, are all my memories? Case isn't exactly usual. Perhaps whatever's causing our tadpoles to remain in stasis has also affected your mind. If seromorphosis takes place, all trace of your former self will be subsumed into the Mind Flayer's hive. So, to still be here, if I might forgetful, still a win in my book. I guess lack of memory rather than being a mind flare is a plus, but I would also like to have my memories. I would like to know everything that happened to me, how I got here, how I got on the ship. <laughs> I need to tell him. I need to tell him. I need to tell him. I have violent thoughts, depraved thoughts, ones that refuse to go away. We all have those from time to time. I once wished a most impure demise on a colleague of mine who bought the last remaining copy of Etheril's Enchiridion of Enchanting Easements. The first edition, too. As regards to your own morbid little fantasies, I'm sure they're nothing to worry about. So long as they remain fantasies. I did fantasize about cutting your hand off, but I didn't do it. I saved you. I saved you. All right, we've talked to all our companions at our camp here. So let's go ahead and attempt to find Nettie. Let's go attempt to find Nettie. So I think the next thing that we need to do is we've already completed everything over here. We didn't go that route. So I'm just going to go up here just to get that black spot out of here. Oh, I went the wrong way. I don't like having black marks on my map because I like it being full. I like being able to see everything. This is where we killed Lazelle. And I think the reason why it's just black here is because I didn't go under the little archway. Yeah. Because we've already been over here. I love their little banter as we go about. And nobody knows that Astarian's a vampire yet. Because we haven't found anything to indicate that he is. Um, so, it's interesting. It is interesting. And I know he's a vampire. I mean, look at him. You can look at him and see that he, he just 
yells vampire at you. If you've seen any vampire movie or anything like that, you can just tell he's a vampire. But um, our party doesn't exactly know that yet. Um, do I want to go left or right? I'm going to go right. Up here. Hey! We got friends here! I think this is where... Yeah, this is the grove. So this is where we're gonna we're Nevity ne blah, 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 blah. Words are hard. This is where Nettie's gonna be. Perfect, and we found our waypoint. Pretty birds chirping while we got some yelling over in the distance. It's fine. Let's go see what we can uh, find out. Why are they yelling? Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zeblor's orders! Sounds like that bullshit pack of orders. goblins will be on us any second. What's going on? Goblins are on our tail. Open the gates, Zevlor, now. You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. Did you just take somebody else's weapon? By the nine hells, open the gates. You should have opened the gate before you saw those bad guys. I'm just saying. the other two people. I really don't. I really don't. We're gonna try to do a hit on the goblin here with a 65% chance because we're so far away with our arrows. Eight. I'll take it. I will take it. And then we're gonna dash as our bonus action to get a little bit closer. There we go. Wait, hold on. You moved away. Why did I get an opportunity? Oh, I guess it maybe didn't trigger an opportunity attack. Okay, so I want Shadowheart to move over here. She's got some powers. I don't want to use any of her spell slots, so we're just going to stick with maybe Sacred Flame to do some radiant damage. Um, and his dexterity is... His dexterity is higher than his intelligence, though, so maybe we'll just try intelligence for our Firebolt. Okay. We got five damage on him. Bicycle and sword. Them down. Get him, Will. In my playthrough on stream, I don't have Will as a party member. I didn't even recruit him. Alright, we have Gale now. He's got eight health. Oh, we have additional eight points. I didn't mean eight health. I meant um, plus eight because we rallied. Who rallied? Grant eight temporary hit points by a friendly com combatant's rallying cry. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do, we're, we're going to use one of his cantrips. Um, let's see. That doesn't, co that doesn't cost anything. This is... His doesn't... His firebolt doesn't cause him to uh, take intelligence, but it, that's confusing. Shadowheart's firebolt does take intelligence. Is that because he is proficient in intelligence and he doesn't have to worry about it? He only does two damage, though. Actually, shit. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Who got 
had additional points. Oh, that was hidden. I had additional points. Gotcha. Ooh. Astarian's taking some damage. I was so far. I must have rolled terrible initiative. What did I roll for initiative? doesn't tell me what I did. It must have, I, I didn't see it when it popped up at the beginning. Um, let's just go ahead and attack him. You can take me on. 10 damage. Okay, can we go ahead and pummel strike him too? Put him in today's status. Okay, critical hit and he's dazed. Because he failed his uh, saving throw. Oh, did you just put grease around me? And make Gale fall? The audacity. Let's go ahead and stab him. GG's. I kind of wish he didn't use his his small sword though, because I would have been able to heal as my bonus action. Excuse me. Hey, oh! How much you got? Three? Actually, what are you? Yeah, your intelligence is is work. Um. What you call it? Your intelligence is low. Let's do fireball. Bye. I didn't know Will had powers. To be honest with you. Please don't kill anybody. I would like to save this entire group, please. Gale missed his turn because he's... Uh, is he knocked out right now? Or he was. He was... He had fallen. Now he's fine. Um, for our bonus action... Actually, no. No, no, no. What do you got? Let's just go... Mm. Can you jump over here as your bonus action? Yes! All right, slash him. You missed? We're gonna take our action, uh, which is good until, or we only have one sh action surge until our next short rest. Let's try and hit him again. And we take him out. We'll sell it. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn for Darcy. What do we got up here? Astarian, can you jump up here? I don't have enough movement. Okay, uh, what about your low ground? So can you just do this? And then can you go stab him? You don't have enough movement. Just kidding. You're gonna move a little bit closer over here. And then maybe jump? Okay, it's fine. I'll just go here. I feel like he should be able to have enough movement to just pull himself up there, but it's fine. It's fine. Did you just try to heal me? He destroyed it. I appreciate the attempt. But I'm pretty sure... Did you just give me damage because you threw a potion at me? Miss Astarian. Okay, so no, it just... Okay. Can we jump? Can't jump. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. What do you got? Uh, I'm gonna do a radiant damage here. 50% chance of hitting. We don't miss because he saves. Alright. I just don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again. You guys are missing with your potions. Just attack the bad guys. Astarian's fine. Astarian's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh. He falls. Gail, you're doing great. Ooh. Okay, um... Oops. 
Actually, yes. Fire. Let's hit that right there. They both take four fire, fire damage. And we end our turn. And Astarian, I'm gonna have you use your heals real quick. And then... Go ahead and hit him. You miss? Wait, you miss and you hit two? It said miss. That was weird. Okay. You have to keep going. Are you good? Yeah, you're... No, you have a wisdom. Oh, it's dexterity, not wisdom. Your dexterity... Okay, yeah. No, you need to... Get out of here with your fire. Okay, so Shadowheart's not the most strong character, okay? Everybody's critical missing now. What's Bane do? Has a 1d4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. Okay. Frostbolt! Oh, sorry. Ray of Frost. And you miss! Oh, my. Oh, my. Fire damage takes them out, though. Fire damage takes them out, though. Can we go ahead and hit them? For mercy. All right, they're out. Critical hit. We level up. End our turn. Astarian, can you take him out? Can you just jump here? Oh, you take damage because you're stupid and you went through the fire? It's fine. You only need two damage. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Open the gate! Everybody leveled up, so we're gonna level up before we go into the grove. We'll take that. Mm, don't need that. Actually, I should have probably taken that skull. It's fine. I'm pretty sure you can put. Can you put stuff? No, you can't do anything with the bones, I don't believe. I don't believe bones and skulls and stuff. I don't think you can make it into anything. I could be wrong though. There's definitely been things that I've missed before. Um. I know the skull can't be used. A broken loot. Uh, did I check that one? Yes, I did. I think I- oh, wait, I climbed up- I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I already looked up there. I thought it was a different spot. I don't know why. We'll sell these. Let's look at these, though, before we go anywhere. Um... So for Darcy, I don't think there's anything here that's going to be better than what she currently has. So I'm not even going to worry about it. But, oh, actually. On a hit with a weapon attack, possibly inflict a minus 1d penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. Plus one play of hand. I want to put those on Astarian. Because Astarian needs better sleight of hand with him being a rogue. Um... Plus two armor class. That does, okay, that's the same. So we don't need that. I wonder what the next move is. Hmm. You can wear that just to wear it. There's nothing better than what she currently has in hand. She gets two to seven damage with her mace. Um.
And we get two to nine with this quarter staff. And she can use it. Yeah, maybe we'll do the quarter staff because that gives me more. And then we'll go to a Starion. He's at four to nine, <clears throat> four to nine damage right now. I don't think anything is going to be better for than four to nine damage that he can actually carry. Four to eleven. Oh, okay, never mind. I want my dagger back. Give me my dagger back. So that's gonna stay. I don't think anything else. Let's Don't check out Gale. He's got he's got a quarter staff as well, which is exactly what this is. So there's no reason for me to change anything for him. Step by step. But maybe we'll have somebody that we can actually Oh wait, I said I was gonna level up uh, before we went inside. What to do? <clears throat> but we have everybody updated, so we should be able to sell all the stuff that we have on our our person. Now let's do a quick level up for these characters. They're going to go to level three. Okay. So Darcy goes to level three. Um, we get a subclass. We get our health increase. We get a feature for our subclass. And we gain three passives. Eldritch Knight, you are a warrior of spell and sword. Ooh. Weaving incantations that supplement... Your extensive martial expertise. You get two cantrips, two spells, and you gain a spell. And your action um, is weapon bound. Ritually bind the weapon in your main hand. The weapon can't be knocked out of your hand, and it automatically returns to you when... Ooh! When thrown! That's cool. Okay, I'm going to do the Eldritch Knight, honestly. Because I love being able to have magic. I love being able to have magic. So for our cantrips, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Acid Splash, which gives me one to six damage for a cantrip. Throwing bubble of acid that damages each cr creature it hits. And then I kind of want to do also the Bone Chill, which gives me one to eight neurotic or necrotic damage. Prevent, prevent the target from, dealing, from healing until your next turn. An undead target receives disadvantage on attack rolls. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Spells. I think I'm going to do the chromatic chromatic orb. And... Personally, I don't mind having... More than one person having the same spell. So I'm going to go burning hands. And then expanded. Oh, okay. Um... You add a wizard spell of your choice to your spell casting repertoire. Oh gosh. Okay. Um. Uh, I do like the hideous laughter. I'm gonna get hideous laughter. Nobody has hideous laughter. All right. Level up Marcy to level three, and she's got spells now. All right. We have level three cleric. She's got more spells. She gets trickery domain. Her health goes up. She's got two class features. She gets spell slot two. Okay, what do I have for prepared spells currently? This is what we just unlocked. Prayer of healing. Heal all allies you can see. I do like that. I do like that. Their hit point maximum by five points. Heal your allies and increase their maximum hit points by five. I like aid better than this one, I think. Summon a floating spirit, uh, spectral weapon that attacks your enemies alongside you. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to do... I think instead of having this one, I'm going to change this one out to aid. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Good job! Good job! Sometimes I go back and forth on what I actually want to do for our character. 
All right, we have Rogue. We do get a subclass. So we're going to choose that before we decide what we get for our level ups. You prefer to deal subline punishments to a single foe at a, at a time. Not in a duel, mine, because a duel implies chivalry and you are too busy getting the job done for honor. You get Assassin in Initiative. You are deadliest against unprepared enemies. In combat, you have advantage on attack rolls against creatures that haven't taken a turn yet. Ambush, any successful attack roll against a surprise creature is a critical hit. And Assassin's Alcrinity. Quick as an ally cat in a dark... Er, in a rain dark circle, you immediately restore your action and bonus action at the start of combat. Ooh. Okay, I... I'm not going to go the arcane route because I believe that's the route that I went with him when it came to... Uh, my playthrough on stream. This one's speaking to me the most. So I think I'm going to go with Assassin for Astarian for this playthrough. And then finally, we have Gale who levels up. And do we get to pick a spell, uh, a class? No, we don't. Or subclass. So he gets increase in health. He gets additional spell slots. And he gains two spells. Um, he gets a level 1 or a level 2. I want him to be able to find a familiar. I want him to be able to bring one in. So we're going to have find familiar as one of his spells. And then... I think I'm going to go with the Melf's Acid Arrow. Because that gives 6 to 24 damage. We can always change it. If I don't like it. And I can change them as long as I'm not in combat. And I can learn more spells, too. Hmm. As, um, Gale, because he can he can buy them. Your taste. So he doesn't have to tech thoughts yet. Um... I'm going to... I'm gonna have him learn this one and I'm also going to have him learn honestly I'm just going to have him learn all of them it does not hurt to have him have extra spells it does not hurt to have him have extra spells let's get going and she can't she can't learn anything on that side of things so all right, we just spent all of our money. It's fine. It's fine. We just spent all of our money, but it's worth. Have a lot on my mind. Can we go like this, please, so everything's in order? Good. And you're good. Yes. For all right. Now. Still breathing, despite everything. All right. Can you open, please? Thank you. Alrighty. Moving ahead. Let's go into Emerald Grove. What's going on up here? Everybody's just kind of standing here. There are children oh. here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable! Well then. Well then. I've seen my. I've seen much bloodier battles than this. Consider yourself lucky. And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This woman saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward. True. Oh, we failed insight. Okay, um... Intimidation, if you want me to take both of you down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. Persuasion, more violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think or stand back and watch. Nah, we're going to intimidate. I have intimidation pro proficiency, but I have a minus one from, from charisma. Eh, fuck it. Fuck it. I only need a ten. Easy. Easy. We have a dirty 20. Or, well, dirty 22. Enough. 
Squabbling Gail is and Shadow Heart approve. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. They could be. That is true. Time to pack. We need to leave. I wanted to punch somebody. I wanted to punch somebody. Let's just look around up here real quick. Never know what you're going to find. Can they see me? Just another crate. Can they see me, though? I feel like they won't be able to see me because there's a big rock. Oh, there's somebody right there. Okay, I'm not going to steal anything. Just kidding. Well, maybe I'll save. And if they catch me, I'll just scum save. I just want to see what's in here. Scroll of stinking cloud? Yes. Yes. They didn't see me take any of it. It's fine. I don't care about anything else. Got what I wanted. Um, I'm not gonna go that way yet. I wanna go down into... Actually... Let's go see what these people have to say. Oh, there's somebody dead over here. Are you guys okay? Yeah, because it's looking about Octa suit just a moment ago. Come on, Bricker. And now what? We dig a hole and be done with him? I mean, we, we could say a prayer. We should have time for that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. It's fine. He died in battle. Uh, I wasn't actually trying to. I wasn't actually trying to do anything. Sorry. Can we talk to you? Are you okay? Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. I was trying to help, bitch! Seems like a good moment to talk. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. Um, why not take your chances on the road? You are scared of a few goblins. Pathetic fighter. Let me- let them come. This position Favors the defender. Yeah, I want that. You one. think that's something at least. We're not trained fighters, though. No, but you got me. Uh, tactics are more important than training. I'm guessing you have plenty of both. I am. I'm nice a fighter. If I could say the same for myself, it'd be even nicer if we were on the road to Baldur's Gate already. How far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a uh, 10 days walk, maybe? 10 but days? While the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. I'd have killed them for watched. you. I could kill them for you. All right. Let's go talk to this person. I think that's, uh, yeah, Zevlor. Hi, Zevlor. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's <laughs> no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Darcy. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Well? Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. I have no quarrels with druids. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay. But we'll be slaughtered if we leave. Oh. We are no fighters. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop I've it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her. I can try. For more time to prepare, if nothing else. I want to try and help. I'll do what I can. Really? We're messengers now. 
We don't Sir. Have great debt. If we are forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. That was the first disapproved from Astarian. So we have neutral on Shadowheart. Neutral on Astarian, but he did just drop a little bit. And neutral on Gale, but we have the best relationship so far with Shadowheart. I really, really, really want to romance Shadowheart. And I... I don't know. I just... I think they're all... All the characters are special. I want to romance them all at one... At one point or another. We gotta save? Auto save? Hi, friend. Can I talk to you? Refugees. Adventurers. No one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. You got it! brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Um, what are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Oh my goodness! They updated the selling where I don't... I don't have to switch. I don't have to switch from character to character. Yes. <laughs> Round of applause for the devs. They're great. They're great. They have a buyback button now? Wait, they have it. You can filter it by what you need. So I can just look at equipment. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so for her. All right, well, we should have everything that we need to upgrade our, our team to have better looking outfits. I'm down to three Sylvanas, gold. Sylvanas, guide your path. I'm down to three gold. But our team is looking better. Let me just check something real quick. I'm going to pause. One second. All right. Now that we've sold everything, I just want to talk to a couple people in the Grove before we go down and talk to the people that we're actually supposed to. What's going on over here? Bells. We can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. That's true. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Um. Say nothing, get out while you can. The goblins will be back. Persuasion, you should all stay. Single blade could make a difference. Or Dragonborn. Clan is everything. You don't abandon those you swore to protect. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go I with. I made Gail no such oath, and I will not be held responsible wow. for these people. Just be responsible for yourself, then. We have to stay. It's the right thing to do. Zerg. Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. Yay! We helped! Do I still get... Can I still talk to you? We should have left by now. Damnation! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You have a stick up your ass? Do you need me to pull that out for you? Run, then. And run scared! Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Are you always this selfish? <laughs> You're as bad as Leah. And I think one of her is quite enough in my life. Good day to you. Bye. You were cranky anyways. Let's go talk to Will. Will! Will! Go on. Give me a best shot. Get him. Get him, Will. Get him. Teach him all the things. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. 
Yes, you can. I'm not like you. Umi, Umi, Umi. Umi. I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Aww. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Okay, but Will's really cute. It's a good it's good advice, child. You'll do to, good to listen. Or Dragonborn. He's a man's words, child. His form is highly efficient. I'm gonna go with the Dragonborn one. Kind words in unkind times, my friend. Well met. The blade of frontiers at your sh The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. I was. Another escapee thing, the gods, I need all the friends I can get. Um, yes, and we both carry parasites. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Oh? Evil incarnate. Shit! <sighs> you saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Um. Converting with devils, I see. You should consider better company. A fiend makes for poor company. Unless it's been stuffed and mounted on your wall. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. So, I know Carlac. I know Carlac. And she's not evil. She's not evil. Um. So I'm not going to say anything about hurting the devil. I'm just gonna say, I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner Just up. so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her, but I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. For right now. Because I just spent money on helping Gale remember or learn spells. And Shadowheart's a healer. For right now, I'm going to tell him to meet me back at camp. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. And Gale approves. I got to figure out who I want in my party. And like I said multiple times during <sighs> this playthrough, I want you to know what you guys want as well. Because I want to take that into consideration when we're playing. Um, who do you think would be the best dark urge companions to have by us so getting to me. we'll see i saw you at the gates you fight well i do a few words for the kids <laughs> spare a story or two after great adversity comes triumph honor and glory the kids like that thanks i prefer when they smile oh that was cute all right, can I go down here now? Recruitment poster. Pockets. No time to dally. Keep a blade close. The air is ripe with magic. Okay. All's well that ends. Not as well as they could have. What's right here? Cups, please. A potato. One, two, one foot, two feet. One foot, two feet. Well met, we'll meet.
recruitment poster. A man and a woman stand side by side in armor, embolized with a red fist surrounded by flames. Find pride and purpose in the flaming fist. Join today and protect Baldur's Gate. Led by Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard himself, you'll be tasked with guarding the, ci the city streets, protecting its people, and upholding the laws that govern us. Speak to any of our friends, our friendly fists throughout the city, or visit our headquarters at the Sea Tower of Baldrin to find out how you can blaze a new career path today. One foot, two feet, well met, well meet. Two drakes, one mink, one drought, two drinks. One bear, three bears, come join, drink here. One foot, two feet, well met, we'll meet. Yandala and Garl shared Twix them a farl, all covered in butter, and they liked each other. Along came a fly who flew in with a cry to the buttery farl of Yandala and Garl. When Garl took a bite, Yandala shrieked with fright, don't eat that, oh my, that's a butterfly. <laughs> what the fuck am I reading? There was an old man named Ullman, who began? Who made the best buns in Faerun? The elders did scold him whenever he sold them, saying, "Elm, bring those buns to our room." I don't know what I just read. Okay. Okay. Breathe deep and look. Oh wait, can I talk to her? Or talk to him? What's he got to say? What do you gotta say? I want to talk to We've everybody. We've known enough grief this ten-day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. Okay. Okay. What do you got to say, Barth? Anything good? Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Nah, I'm going to look at this door. Boy. I take anything am i gonna get yelled at yeah they're they're both red we're just gonna go talk to them you're the one who helped at the gate i am glad to have another sword <sighs> we might need it i'm here to help however i can oh this is evlor okay have you spoken to Korga? i have not not yet. Of Sorry. course, you have your own business to attend to. My apologies. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. To be fair, I didn't know you were in here. So I'll come back once I've talked to her. Talk to them. I don't know if it's a girl or guy, to be honest with you. I don't recognize the name. It's been so long since I did the beginning of this this game that a lot of this is new to me. Or refreshing, I should say. I, I didn't really pay attention. I don't as much as I should have um, when it came to my first playthrough. On stream, I feel like I'm definitely learning more now that I got the mechanics figured out. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. You can't have dogs? A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. Aww. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Um, sorry I didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to good luck to you both. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Um How can you make plans? I don't remember what I ate for breakfast. <laughs> Knowing me, there's a high chance I will start a fire and be sent to jail. I'm gonna go with that one. Know what you mean. Do we ever? But I, I've heard there's all sorts in the city. It, it might not be like it was in El Terrell. I mean, in Baldur's Gate, they give you a chance. Good luck to you. Wish us a little too. I think we'll all need it. Surely destined for the slaughter. What would be more perfect than to die by your love's side? And known love was not enough. We just got an update on the Dark Urge. Okay, so the Blade of Frontiers, that's Will. We recruited Will, a monster hunter known as the Blade of Frontiers. He's on a mission to kill Karlak, a powerful devil who is in danger to the entire Sword Coast. I don't believe that, but... Um, 
Finding a cure. We knew that we needed to go talk to... Uh, let's just read this real quick. We escaped the hells of the Neltroid and crashed somewhere back in the material plane. We need to explore the area and find a healer. Lizelle is now gone, and she can't lead us to the Githlanki cure. It's fine. We learned that there is a healer named Nettie in the grove. Maybe she can help us. We found people taking refuge in a grove. We should explore it. There might be a healer inside. Um, for the Druid Grove, we have to save the refugees. That was from talking to Zel Zeldor, or however you say his name. Kaga, leader of the Druids, ordered the Tieflings to leave the grove. Zelbor, sorry. Zelbor fears they won't survive the road and asks us to intervene. And then personal quest, the Urge. Special, yes. Special, aren't you? Shh, don't fight it. You know what you need to do. Take up that knife, do what you do best. Easy as breathing. You'll feel better after. You really can't help it, can you? These vile things you do. Don't you wonder why you are doing them? You must really have been off. You must. You must really have been an awful person before the crash. Perhaps it's better than you that you forget about it. But you want to know, don't you? I do. I do want to know. Have it. How stupid are you? What's going on up here? Let's go talk to Melly. I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Don't you dare lay a finger on that child. You threatening me? Yes. You don't threaten kids. Raise a hand to that child and you'll lose it. Your choice. Your choice. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He... Go oh, the hell's with this. These little devils get away with everything because of coddling bastards like you. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will. But personally, I doubt it. See you around. Is that how you talk to a child? Oh, is that Arden? He wasn't here earlier. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Stand up for your crew. I respect Half that. my crew are full of holes. Now I'm well, gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here and losing track of the bloody druid. Who's the druid you lost track of? Alson. He's a leader around these parts. Or was. We've got a contract to track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's out of the digging latrines are boiling in a cook pot by now. Um. Can I have a look at that contract? <laughs> Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Just tell me where to find the relic. It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. He's a dick. He is a dick. A scuffed handbill stamped with an extravagant seal boldly proclaims adventurers wanted for Prelarius and pro profitable, profitable quest. Master Lor Lorakian, the arcanist of Athkatala, the recluse of Mer Ramazathis Tower, I'm saying these all wrong, seeks brave and enterprising individuals to delve treacherous temple and recover storied artifact, the Night Song. For preservation in Boulder's Gate. 
Only stout of heart and keen of mind need apply. Fame, glory, and incredible fortune assured. Okay. Um, let's go this way. Smart enough to poison their blade. Let's go talk to... We've already talked to these people, I think. Let's go to talk to Auntie Ethel. Ah, uh, but isn't the talk of the camp. It's a rare day when I see one of you lot about. Thank you. Goodness, you came along when you. Oh. Oh? You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. I Auntie don't. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Um. What are you, an alchemist? Alchemist? Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Might this concoction also help with something more serious? Well, that depends. What's wrong, lovey? condition an unusual condition oh i've seen it all i once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad the wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil <laughs> but worry not i fixed him up and depending on the lighting he looks good as new depending on the lighting my point is whatever ails you i promise i've seen worse why, she sounds positively demented. I love it. Let's tell her everything. Let's tell her what anything! Is it, What's wrong? Um. Mm, there's something awful about my intent and my instincts about my desires. Then let old Auntie Ethel have a look at you. First things first. Tell me what's at you. Um. We're just gonna start with, I know nothing of my past. My brain feels thick as a bog. No. That's as serious as serious gets. Our path defines us, Petal. Without it, why, we could be anyone. Were you hurt recently? An accident of some sorts? That could explain things. I had a parasite put into my brain. A ill, ithia, Ithli, I can't work. Ilthiad tadpole wormed into my head, but the others don't have symptoms like me. Um, all I know is right now I'm imagining drowning you in the boiling stew over there. <laughs> We're gonna go with the worm. You poor pet. My heart goes out to you truly. But I confess that doesn't explain all your symptoms. Some of the things you told me were. I've never heard of a parasite doing that. This is serious. I've never a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. My time could be running short. I can't afford to spend it paying you a house visit. I'm sorry, but I can't do much for you here. You could try asking around, but be careful. Most folk won't be as understanding of your little problem. I'll be heading home soon. Here, let me mark it on your map, just in case. Thanks. No, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. I don't actually have any money. I don't have any Nay, money. bother, love. Come back any time. We got a greater potion out of it, though. <laughs> You're an idiot. We did get a greater potion out of it. How is my relationship? I want you guys to get out of the neutral. Can I just slide it, you know? Just slide it that way? Oh, you 
Um, okay. Let's go talk to Octa. Oh, Octa? You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Stop thinking about delicious dwarf and take the bowl. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a null catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. I can kick its ass, it's fine. Ugh, we, we, we uh, receive some gruel. Okay, can I actually... This has got nothing. I don't want it. Put this here, put this here. I don't want doubles. There we go. There we go. And we've already talked to these people. Die if I met heroic and reeking of this place. Never get a smell out of my clothes. I have to burn them. Who's this? Hi! How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? No idea. Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. I like your hair. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Grab what I can. Okay. Hi. You have somebody in there. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? What are these thoughts? Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Stand back and admire the guard's overflowing hate. Yeah. Doesn't even matter. I'm sorry, it proves. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Are you though? You're comes. kind of locked in a cage. Little beast. Doesn't look very blessed to me. Killer! Hey! GG's. Hold on, can I talk to you? That goblin won't be the last. It was a nice shot, if nothing else. It was wrong. No, it wasn't. It was justice. Or the start of it. There's nothing wrong with it. Careful, I bite. Can you go unlock this? Hardly a challenge. Hardly a challenge, he says. I don't even need the... Yeah, nat 20. Easy. I was gonna say, I don't even need guidance. Do you have anything on your body? Nothing. Step quick. What's over here? Anything? Oh, I see something that I can jump over here and get, possibly? That might be worth a look. Take it. Well, Wanna look over it. here first? <coughs> Burlap sack. It might look nice. Let's let's take it. That's not really the ah! best not get too close. Careful. Can you cause it to explode over here? Actually, just do firebolt. Oh. Firebolt. Okay, there's a pouch right here. Ooh, poison. Coat your weapon in oil. It receives a minus one penalty to damage, but targets failing a constitution save suffer disadvantage on strength checks and saves. They also receive a minus 1d4 penalty to melee damage for 10 turns. Actually, I should have just taken all of it. Okay, so I don't want to do anything with this yet. I will go back to it. And I don't think I want to go in here yet, to be honest with you. I am scared. I'm going to go check it out, though. I want to see what's in here. Makeshift prison. That's not the door that I just walked into for a makeshift prison. Okay, so this is exactly what I thought it was. I can't do anything yet. 
And I can't say why because I don't want to give spoils. But there, is there goblins down here? That's it. Boss should rip you for talking that way. Well, at least we got the druid to keep ourselves entertained. He's boring. You know what? Let's find another one. Can we kill these guys down here. I'm just gonna save just in case this is a bad idea. Actually, a starian. Glowing eyes are so rarely a good sign. Best. Nope. Go this way. You can't go that way. Yep, this is what I thought. Okay, we can't go that way right now. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Short rest, please. Time to get going. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. That was not good. We'll come back here. Time to press ahead. All right, let's go over here. Can a Starian unlock this? Should be easy. No, you're supposed to lockpick it. It won't let me lockpick? Okay, that's fine. No one back home will ever believe this. Let's say evidence in equipment chest. Yes, it does. Way forward. Okay, so I've done everything. Let's have a look. Over there. We've gone through the entire grove. We haven't done this house yet, but I'll come back to it. I haven't talked to him. I want to talk to everybody. I swear that ox is. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Okay. What did that just say about the ox? If we left, we could at least make a run for it. I swear that ox's gaze is following me, is what Darcy said. Um, what are those? Metallic gloves. Wooden chest. Nothing in there. Nothing of worth. Ooh, Astarian, can you unlock Keep that? Your distance, darling. Lock Let's it. crack it open. Add bonus. Ooh. I'm glad I put that bonus there. Oh, it's not enough. We'll respin. Because I don't want to lose one of my... Actually, just try a new tool. That's fine. I had six of them. You only lose them if you fail, so... There we go. Look. Take your eyes off my hands. Holy water. Gold. No one stopped me yet. Very well. Let's go talk to this child. Oh word. Whoa. Hey. Can't say I've ever seen someone like you before. Oh? Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. That was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything word. yet, lady. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. Hmm. Mimic his hand, or mimic his trick and make the ring disappear. <laughs> oh no, I have to get 15 or higher. I was so close. We can use an inspiration though. Not 20. Weeping, bleeding hells. Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. Um, tails. Tails it is. See, 
That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. That was a... I've got more where that came from. Real cheat, too. Interested? One coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Tails! We got tails. I'll believe you! There. Happy? Nah. Not yet. Flip the coin again. Really? I mean... Fine. Heads or tails? Tails. We got tails. Can we do it again? There. Happy? No, 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 no. Flip it again. Lady, come on. Uh, okay. Heads or tails? Tails. We got tails. There. Happy? No, 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 no. Do it again. <laughs> Fine. Heads or tails? <laughs> tails. We got tails. There. Happy? No, 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 no. Do it again. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is. There. Happy? No, no, no. Do it again. You're killing me here, lady. You really are. <laughs> Just take the ring, huh? Free sample. Now, you want to take a look at the other stuff I got? Or maybe you just want to go? <laughs> just leave. Just leave. Thank the gods. <laughs> oh, no. <I'm laughs> Time to go. Did I do good? What do you think? I think I did good. There you go, Sylph. I love it. I fucking love it. We just stole the ring from the tiefling child after clearly frustrating them, making them continue to flip it over and over and over again, the coin, because they told me that the ring was lucky. I mean, every single time that I called something, it was correct, but I got a free ring. I got a free ring. Is there anything that I could even do with it or should I just sell it? I'm just gonna wear it for right now. So wear it for right now. Makes me happy. Okay, let's go see what's going on down here. Please, last room. It is forbidden. It is forbidden, huh? Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Radrashab, or I'll rip your damn throat out. Bear! I love druids. Can I just say that? I absolutely love druids. Before we go down there and see what's going on, let's talk to these citizens here and see what all is going on. Do all the damn rituals you want. Damn it. We could have taken those gods. What's going on? What's going on? We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear. Or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Sounds like she made the fatal mistake of getting caught. We shouldn't get involved. Battle heart. Like you should have said it's your fault. You should have been tried better parenting. Or you should have tried parenting her. It's a child though. I I can't be mean to a child. She's just a child. The druids are overreacting. I'll talk to Thank them. Thank you. Gail approves. The Starian disapproves. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. Hmm. I don't want a Starian to hate me. He's starting to hate me, I think. Shadowheart is neutral. Astarian is just going further down. Keep this up and you'll have blood on your hands. Basically, if it'll help anybody out, I think is what Astarian is going to like. Lives are at stake. And the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Maybe I'll have to do a playthrough where I do only things that Astarian would like. But for right now, we gotta do what we gotta do. Hello? <laughs> to you too. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You get back. Give her a chance, and then you yell at me. <laughs> I feel like the dark urge would just be like, 
You know what? Fuck you. Fuck your attitude. I'm just gonna do it anyways. Stop. Another step, and Magrim will tear you open like a sack of grain. If it were for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where Take I please. Back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Um. I don't like your attitude. What can you tell me about this place? I don't like your attitude. Who are you? Polo! Yes, yes, I... Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? Yes. When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. And there's no overstating my disinterest. I have no time for questions. I do want to. I do want to talk to Volo because I've never actually talked to him. I think I almost killed him or did kill him in my other playthrough, not knowing who he was. So, go ahead. Ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, Are you successfully them? recalling various details of goblin behavior. Common variety goblins, led by a lasher and flanked by booyogs. However you say that. They were goblins, same as the others, lowly and vile. Given exact description, goblins, hardly. They were shapeshift diva. Devas. However you say it. Devas. We're going to give an exact goblins description. Goblins were of rare gem-colored hue, and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragon? There wasn't a dragon. A dragon board says a brass or silver dragon would die a million deaths before Ellie with goblins! Witnesses noticed red dragon marching at rear. I mean, I didn't say there was a dragon, actually. Last question. Then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? I don't think so. I was concentrating on not dying. Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. Oh, I killed she it. reports or they've well, abandoned their god Maglabiet in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal. Uh, goblin superstition not the, worth the ink in parchment. We're just gonna hold our tongue. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Kukliak would come to some use. Wait, about our conversation earlier, why the dragon? What brought you to the wilds in the first place? Let's ask about the dragon. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Oh, okay. Hi. I guess. Let's go over here and look what's over here. Before we go into this area here. Let's go up here and talk. I believe there's somebody up here. Yeah, there's somebody up here. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Just kidding, that's not what we're playing. Dance upon the She's stars cute. Tonight. Can I kiss her? Smile, then pain will fade away. Oh, she sounds sad. Words of mine will change. No. Become. How can I put this? That sounded a little unpolished. It sounded like a cat being strangled. It did. Oh, damn it. Oh. You better swap out that loot for a weapon. You'll need one soon enough. We're just gonna ask her if she's all right. No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. I mean, that's not wrong. Of this bloody song. I can't. Nothing fits. You know. 
That's the creative process for you. Agony and ecstasy, mostly agony. Uh, why are you songwriting now? Hardly the best time. You better swap that loot for a weapon. You'll no. We're just gonna say, can we help? Hmm. I want to write a song with you. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot. If you want. Hand me that loot. We can perform together. I'll start from the beginning. We'll take it slow. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Thank goodness for the closed captions, because I obviously don't know the lyrics. Um. Performance. Play along with her. I have a negative one, but we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. We're just going to let it happen. We're just going to let it happen. That was interesting. Why don't we try again? I never said I could perform, to be fair. Um, let's go ahead and try again. appreciate the help but i think i should continue on my own thanks anyway too sweet <laughs> odiously sweet the vomitous gall within churns she sickens you well we received a loot but we tried we tried we failed but we tried Don't touch me. Um, lock it. Crooked touch. When you pull the last light, does that twenty? Natural twenty. There better be something good in here. Is that blood? No, never mind. I got a new hat. Oh, we gotta go check this out. Let's go over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need good lighting for this. I need good lighting for this. Over here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need good lighting. Let's go. Will it be better than our current hat is the question. All right. Can you stand right here? Currently, we have this hat. Oh, my goodness. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, they also regain one to six hit points. I don't have a bard. I don't have a bard. But I like that hat so much better than- Oh my goodness, it's so fucking hilarious on her head! Darcy, you're rocking it. Let's go. I hear singing. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't save going down. into that, though. So I have to grab all the stuff that I didn't get. Or that I didn't, um... Wow. I just lost my train of thought. I need to go grab everything that, um, I grabbed last time and then save. Which was, like, some gold pieces and such. Not much, but... I'll try to do the same exact things that I did last time. I think I remember all my options that I, I picked. Go down here. Such a pretty song. Child, child, don't listen to the don't listen to the singing. Don't listen to the singing. Listen. Your favorite drownings will take place in shallow water. Just a slice of the ankle pendant. He's standing out in the water. It's dangerous. It's so peaceful. I don't hear anything. Come back to shore. No, no. 
It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Um, maybe stop? Maybe, maybe stop? Can we dash? As a action. Can we get up here? Are we able to get up here? Position. Maybe with our movement across the water we'll be, no, we can't. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and do fire, fire bolt up here on Harpy. Assist, assassinate initiative. That's what I got for it. Is. Oh, three, three points. They, they saved on the constitution saving throw. That's unfortunate. We're gonna save because I don't want to forget again. Can you stop singing? I don't like it. Okay. We have Shadow Heart. Is she gonna be able to do anything relatively well? Is there are they all up here? One, two. I don't have enough movement. Can we just jump to right here? We don't have any Oh, we do have a little bit more movement. It just takes so much. Um, what do you have actually? Let's see. Intelligence is, okay, her intelligence is lower than her dexterity. So we are going to do the fire. Interesting. She missed. <laughs> Miss, bitch! Opportunity attack, three bludgeoning damage. All right, Gail. I need you to put yourself in front of a child. And we're gonna use a cantrip of Ray and Frost over here. We take eight damage on that harpy. And we are going to end our turn. Darcy is lured, so she moves forward. I don't have any control over her. <laughs> Miss! And we what saved happened? on the lure. 11 opportunity points there. Thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead. You just hit him. Love that for us. We have a whole 12 points taken off the top of their HP. We miss. All right, can we actually help this child so he doesn't get lured? Oh, they can't get helped. Okay, never mind. Um, what if? Oh, target must be an ally. Psh, bullshit. Bullshit. Let's try to take this guy out over here. Nope, they save. I should have just done a fireball. Gail, why'd you have to get lured? Resist the song. Can we jump up here? Not really. Can we just hit you? Critical miss. Love that for me. Can I jump here? And then end our turn. Miss! Philip! But I see you now for what you are. Gail was just taken down in one hit. We have to focus on the harpies at hand. We can save Gail afterwards. 
Come on. You got this. Um. I don't really know much what else Shadowheart can do other than her cantrips because she doesn't have much. She just doesn't have much. She's just more of a healer. Six damage, opportunity attack, six damage back. Um, okay, I need to take you out because you are taking over everybody's brains and I don't like it. Stop singing! Stop singing! I said, stop singing! What happened? <laughs> Only took three friggin' tries, but we killed her. Let's take her gold. End our turn. Now they're gonna try to sing. No! Well. This is unfortunate. Can I not save the child? Can I? Please? Need to stay focused. Can I please help this child? Can I please revive him? Must be a playable character. No! Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Not a big deal. He, it is what it is. Um, are they good with their wisdoms? They're ten wisdom. Let's try a wisdom saving throw. I'll take you out. GGs. Good job, Shadowheart. I only have one harpy left. I'm so frustrated. I was trying to save the kid, but like, I'm not gonna restart again to just try to save the kid, you know? Timber. We've already restarted it once. I can't just keep restarting to try to save. Um, can you help Gale up? Oh, did you? Okay, that's fine. Enter. To let up. Can you also do guiding bolt on them and take them out? No, you can't. You cannot because you can't hit any of your targets. Thanks, Shadowheart. Let's go with Gar Darcy and take them out. 65% chance and there they go. Well, we killed all the harpies, but we did not save the little boy. Well, I tried. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. So we'll take his gold. Don't waste a step. So we'll take his gold. It's fine. Let's do a short rest, too. Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Or desire. That's enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone, Astarian says. <laughs> Such an Astarian thing to say. It definitely is. Is there anything up here that I can get? No? Just kidding. What's down here? Day, I'll cut your break. Can I make it over here? No, I can't. And there's nothing up here that I can get. Actually, sorry, 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 sorry. Go over here. There's a treasure chest right here. 46 gold. Is there anything over here that I can get? Jump. Oh, there's a nest. Can we get over to the nest? Yeah, we can. Oh, wait, I gotta jump up here. Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. Ooh! wrong thing all right so we got a ring color spray level one illusion spell i'm sorry an inscrutable journal let's read the i'm sorry 
Miriam, I'm so sorry. Oh, there's no sorry there. Or there's no sorry there. So there, I can't word. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've written. A lot has happened. First, some good news. Maggie Two Fingers won't be bothering you anymore. I paid her in, I paid her back in full. I'm sorry. She should never have got your name in the first place. Now, for the bad news, my love. I'm not coming home. Not for a while, at least. The money came from a mercenary group. Probably best I don't give you their name. And I've agreed to do a couple jobs in Icewind Dale in return. They paid me up front because, gods, it's so strange to write it. Because they need a warlock. They needed me. I took the deal the Cambian or offered. I'm not... I'm not going to say I had no choice because that would be a lie, but I don't regret it. I'm a new man. I feel strong for the first time in my life. Aside from being awoken in the middle of the night by the smell of sulfur, he likes to drop by to see how everything is going. I have no complaints. If you don't reply to this letter, I understand. And if you don't want me to come back at all, well, I understand that too. I love you, Miriam, and I want you to be happy, even if it's not with me, Edmund. Um, well, uh, we followed mush, mush ribs instructions so far, but something feels odd. We've encountered no creatures along the way, only in alien noises from all directions. The sleep evades us and the muck of my boots has hardened into a per permanent feature. Hopefully we find dot, 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 dot. Lost more hair this morning. I knew there were side effects to coming back, but I didn't expect it to be so blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I heard him laughing. The lemonade lamentations of the omians droning like a chorus what is the purpose of this hellhole he speaks through the walls the ceiling the floor is he the tome is he on the last on the last legible page is a crudely drawn charcoal outline of a bearded devil's face its mouth agape in a silent scream well obviously we need to have this What's this give me? Flying creature up to 33 points. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I like anything where I don't have to use a spot, like a spell slot, you know? Um, jump here. And then jump here. I'm gonna go back this way. Is there... Did I go all the way up here? Did I not check everything up there? Like I said, one of my biggest pet peeves is having a black map. Spots that are hidden. I want to find everything. I want to find everything. Can I go over here, actually? I don't think there's anything else that I can find over here. Why would I need to climb up this, though? Like, I feel... Why is that climbable if I uh, can't do anything with it, you know? I wanna know! Ooh, there's something to jump over here. Go over there, go, 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 go! I wanna jump things! That's me to be the leapfrog that I deserve to be! All right, Darcy, let's do some leapfrogging. A bounce. A bounce. A bounce. Good job, team. Is there anything over here? That's curious. A dirt mound! What do we find? Ooh, potion of speed. Okay, so can I jump over here? If I have... I wanna jump there. What if I take the potion of speed? Is that even something I can get over to? I wonder. I wonder. I don't think I can. It doesn't look like I can get over it because it normally has a different color when you can get to things. If y'all know something different about this spot, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure all I can find over there is that tre- That treasure tre- Wait. Can we go up here? No, we can't. Never mind. Just kidding. Let's go back into the grove. 
now that we've killed the harpies and everything, we can go back into the grove and carry on with the story. Talk to Nettie and the other person, the one that's actually Would causing freely, this to go on. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. All right, let's see. Um, hmm, I don't want to do anything with this yet because that's... That's not paired with what we're currently doing. Um, we learned that a child ne named Arbella is being held by the druids on charges of theft. We should check on her. I definitely think we should go check on her. I definitely think we should go check on her. I suppose. Let's just go around so we get these stuff, things real fast. Oh, can I take all this? Without getting yelled at? Find our master. Return to me then. Tell me what you find. Tell only me. Understand? I want that potion of great healing. Black say. By Sylvanas, the forest father. We are granted balance. Okay. Go over here and open that door. Talk to her. That's who we. Oh, there is a snake! Oh, I don't like snakes. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a. A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? A child? I'll imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Um, thief? Poison? What's this girl's actual Girl. crime? You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. <laughs> Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The I death the of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Flick your eyes to the exit so the child will try to run? Your mind wants the snake to kill the child, but your heart doesn't snap out of it. Nature, don't druids cherish harmony. Jailing the girl disrupts nature's balance. Persuasion, release her. I'll see what, that she stayed out of trouble. Detect thoughts, read Koga's, Koga, I can't word. We're gonna detect thoughts real quick. Go ahead. Easy. Dirty 20, baby. How sin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Mm. Your mind wants the snake to kill the child, but your heart doesn't snap out of it. I'm struggling because, like, I don't want to hurt this child, but I feel like the dark urge would want me to help hurt this child. Look your eyes to the exit so the child will try to run. Now, Wrath. <laughs> no. Please don't actually fight the child. I feel really guilty now. I feel really guilty now. No! No, 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 no! no! Yes. Tina, to me. Oh, no. It's the dark urge. Let the dark urge happen. Gone. By 
the gods, Koga, what have you done? Bury the remains. Continue the rite. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to her. We must focus on the right. She's Child dead. For that. Koga, we are gone. Get in and out of this killers. place before anybody Spare your tears. to bear their fangs. She I got inspiration? Don't try to run. I got inspiration for letting the child get killed? Oh, I feel terrible. Kaga snake kill Arabella. Her parents should be informed. Follow the dark urge. Indulge thine appetites. I can't believe I just let that happen. No regrets. Dark urge is the dark urge. Oh, goodness. I really can't believe I just did that. I feel so terrible. Let's go talk to Koga. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? 100%, but you know, I let it happen, so. Do you expect pity? You killed a child in cold blood. You were protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. Honestly, I just wanted to see what would happen. That depends. It was an accident, wasn't it? Do you expect pity? You killed a child in cold she blood. She made her choice. I know you're kind. You see only victims and villains. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Um... Zelvor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You're to kill more innocent people. Then it seems I best speak to Zelver. Zelvor. You will do more than Zedler. speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. I really don't like her. I really don't like her. By claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oaks grove to wildlings sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak, Sylvanus, god of nature. Okay. Grab this logbook. Just kidding, I don't want to read it. I don't want to read it. What can I take from? There's a stone there's a stone door there? Oh! I didn't realize there was a the door there. Of frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. I didn't mean to talk to you. Thanks, though. I dislike accidentally clicking when I'm trying to do something else, but that's on me. That is on me. We can't look at any of those because I'll get in trouble. All of this is red. Is there anything in here that I can look at? We can talk to this person. So that's all I can do because everything else in here is red. Goblin attacks and now a dead child. We never should have opened our gates. I mean, there's only a dead child because your person killed them. 
All right, I'm not gonna go in there yet because I know from my first playthrough that Nettie's over here and I don't want to do that yet. I'm gonna go talk to the parents of the child and then we'll come back and talk to Nettie. Hey parents, I have some bad news for you, and I totally had nothing to do with it. Unless you have news of Arabella, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, so I have, I do have news. She called her a parasite and a threat. She was bitten by a snake, it happened quickly, she felt no pain. We're gonna go with the number four. Corker. Corker did... What? No. No! That snake! That... That... Ah! Kill her! I'll kill a snake! They were devastated. Oh, my heart. My heart. I'll we'll talk to Nettie. Let's go talk to Nettie. Actually, can we go talk? Can we go look at that first? Mm. Unique mm. black. In darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Harp and wild? You recall stories of an alliance between druids and the harpers, but the details are vague. Okay. Good. Not another word. All the stuff in here is is red. Oh wait, that's not red. Nothing good here. I hope. Anything in here? When you leave me. We're just gonna grab all the free stuffs. All right. Birdie. Let's go talk to Nettie. I see you. Just give me a moment. Just wait patiently. This medicatrix. There. It's what a pretty little own. bird. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? Are you good enough to treat people or just pets? Good enough to tell there's nothing obviously wrong with you. A bit tired, maybe. But we're all a bit tired. Um. No good way of putting this. I, uh, have a tadpole in my head. Everything about me is sick. The dizzy spells, the memory loss, the... the <laughs> parasite. Uh, we're gonna go number two. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. Yeah, something about that. What other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped into my eye. That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We might? need to be quick. This way. We might be able to help, she says. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Um... So you killed him and laid him out on the table?
Yes. No. Say something? That was Master Halson. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. Okay. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's that plant? Will it help me? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? It might? What aren't you telling me? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Need Believe me know? on that. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? Lost my memories. I got, I got captured. I can merge my mind with someone else that's infected. I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me and saved my life. An intelligent devourer spoke to me as if I, I were one of its own. No, nothing strange. I just want it out of my head. I'm just going to say I fell from the ship. Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. I got kidnapped? Um, on a mind flare ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now. Do I have your word or not? Uh... Alright, hand it over. Swear it. Fuck! I swear. Sure. I hope it doesn't come to that. Astarian disapproves and Shadowheart approves. Astarian just Here. hates us, is what I'm getting at. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Normal. What do you mean, should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. I didn't tell you that. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. That's good news? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Um... Think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. 
And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? It doesn't sound terrible. It sounds like you are making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. The way I see it, you have two options. Halson, or that wyvern poison. You're not wrong. I don't envy your choice. You have a point. Truly. But this is the hand fates dealt you. Mm, all right, I'll find Thank Halson. you. It would mean everything to the grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. I mean, I guess I technically... Yeah, time, Nettie. Come on. I technically... Yeah, yeah, no. Never technically, I did, I I did keep agree. Anything of use? There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. I picked up a Mind Flare specimen. Anything else that I can pick up without getting in trouble? Not right now. No. Okay. Something over oh. there. Oh, 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 where? Perception where? Something over where? Oh, is the the stone? I can't even see a lot to pick. Okay, so maybe that's what I was talking about. Okay, we're not gonna do anything with that right now. We did finish. Did we even pick up any anything from the drow? I didn't even pay attention. Okay. Journal. We did finish um, talking to Nettie. Right? Yeah, right here. Nettie tried to poison us, but we managed to talk to her about out of it. She let us go, but she made us promise to kill ourselves if we st started to turn. So now for our cure, we can either go talk to Auntie Ethel or go rescue Druid Halzen. We've got a, a couple other things that are going on as well. Let's go back out into the area here. Uh, over here. Over here. Go back outside. Okay. I'm gonna go back upstairs because I need to go talk to what's his face down here. Devlor, I think is his name. Oh. Why do you go? Why do they go that way? Can we have a conversation, please? I've already heard Arabella, nine summers old, and now she'll never see another. Because of druid law. Every natural law demands I take up my sword, storm their lair, and... But no, that's what Korga wants, to prove we are exactly what she says, a threat. I won't give her the satisfaction. 
I'll get my people clear of this, but on our terms. Um. Leaving the grove is the best option. I can help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. It's not We'd a We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Kill the goblins ho Kill the goblin hordes leaders. I'll see what I can do. Everyone in this camp depends on it. A starting doesn't Thank approve you. either. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. We literally get to kill people and Astarian's not happy about that. The tieflings are... To make their way to Baldur's Gate, we will need to deal with the goblins. Zevlor thinks someone must be organizing them. We should investigate the camp. Um, and then going over to save the rescue refugees. Plans to seal the, gro uh, seal the grove shut, but the tieflings can't leave until the roads are safe. From the goblins, we must resolve this. Okay, so basically we just have to go back or go to the goblin camp and kick their ass is, is what we got to do. So that's going to be our next thing we got to do is defeat the goblins. Defeat the goblins. All right, well, that's going to do it for episode three of our Dark Urge Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've definitely been letting the Dark Urge control my decisions more than I have in past playthroughs. So if you guys have enjoyed this series so far, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up so I know that you guys want to keep seeing it, as well as let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscription button, ding that notification bell so you don't miss my videos when they go live next. Until the next episode, I hope you guys continue rolling only natural 20, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Dark Urge.